Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Today we're going to be talking about a few more of upcoming McFarlane Toys' DC Multiverse figures. And as always, just to kind of jump right into it, I'll have links, pre-orders down in the description below, Amazon Entertainment Earth. Thanks for using my links, they'll help the channel to grow. Now, first and foremost, we're going to be getting a new Red Robin figure. Red, Red Robin! Robin. Yo, yo, yo. The place is terrible. Their bottomless fries are bottomless lies, right? They bring you back like three. <laughs> Anyways, not much to really go off of this figure. We don't have the official press photos just yet. And he's not up for pre-order, but they did tease him the other day. I'll give it to him all day. That's a nice looking photo that they took for Red Robin. Now, if you weren't familiar, this is now in the new era of DC Comics once again. Tim Drake has become Red Robin He's also been Batman Beyond. It's a continuity mess. But uh, just know that the, whatever they're doing with Red Robin, this version, uh, yeah, it should be Tim Drake. I'm just going to say. He's got some windswept hair. I'm not really minding that. You know, you get him in a good pose. Stuff like that. I have to wait till I see this figure in hand to really see how it goes. But uh, as far as kind of getting the costume together and, and nailing it for what we can see in the photo and the wings, I mean, it looks pretty dang good. Hopefully they can swivel and do the whole cape thing just like in the uh the photos i i'm with you if you're saying the same thing i am i would love an updated 90s tim drake i think i've said that till i'm blue in the face right even an anarchy figure a two-pack would be amazing so i can finally recreate yeah robin 1992 annual i love that comic book cover by the way very cool eclipso to anarchy gotta get to him right <laughs> that's when uh, eclipso was a thing it's a confusing character. Moving on, we have uh, some final press images for Grifter. If you're not familiar with Grifter, he was in the Wildstorm universe, and now he's in the DC Comics universe. He traveled uh, long ago, but uh, yeah, they're finally making a figure off of him. This is like a DC Rebirth version of Grifter, and it's not the most ideal, let's say, look, minus the mask. You got the grifter mask, fine. They nailed it on that sense. Not a lot of paint it looks like on this guy. Again, hopefully uh, in hand, it just looks a little bit better in that sense. Eh, you know what I mean? And uh, he comes with knives and a sword. And we all know, we all know grifter has guns. He's like the gun fanatic, right? The Deadpool kind of situation. But uh, no, if you haven't caught on just yet, I know a lot of people like to say over and over, like, oh my god, these characters aren't coming with guns? What the heck? Well, just put this in the whole memory banks right here. Uh, going forward, WB, until further notice, is like, hey, we don't want uh, guns coming with our characters. There is mandates, right, in certain circumstances where, yeah, if it's on a, a toy shelf and a toy aisle for kids, and no, us collectors are the ones buying it, well... That's that's their that's their situation. So until they lift that, uh, I'm sure hopefully by now we all have a, a drawer full of guns and weapons we could use. Now that's not an excuse, but if you want a grifter figure, you can definitely make it happen. Or you can go back in the past and get the old Wildcats figure too. That's a cool looking grifter, and he has plenty of guns too. Moving on, getting a single release of Hush comes with knives. Again, the gun thing. If you hadn't forgotten already. Uh, from the grifter uh, explanation a second ago yeah no guns with this guy he comes with knives and he has purple surgical gloves instead of the brown gloves because they are going to be having a two-pack release of hush and a hush batman this version of hush has the brown gloves pretty much the exact same figure except for a different head portrait on him he's more of the yelling hush right which hey that would look cool you give him a pair of guns he's doing the whole ah, you know blazing glory kind of thing there is also a hush version of batman a lot of people saying why isn't he blue well i mean yeah blue with black black with blue it kind of goes either way depending on how you want to look at batman i'll be honest i kind of like this black and gray version Except for the misaligned pins right there. You can kind of see the black joint goes into the uh, the gray part of the arm. And uh, it doesn't look good at all. I mean, it could be for any number of reasons. Factory error. Uh, I would hope that it's not something they didn't catch. You know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. And, and not really like a laziness part either. I would really hope, uh, yeah, maybe it is more so a goof on the factory. Something like that. Because... 
if you kind of compare it to the whole Batman year two with the uh, the wrong boots, right? They got pretty much everything right on that figure except for the boots where they were supposed to be like the more angular uh, triangle kind of shape. And that is, it's like a nitpick. It's like, it's a frustrating nitpick where you're like, ah, oh, you had it. You know what I mean? You're so close. And, uh, and then you go that route. This is, it's really not up to snuff for 2022 it, it, these are these are mistakes that should never happen so i'll tell you all day look you pre-order it you can get it if you want to this is like the perfect example like don't go crazy like oh my god mcfarland oh, terrible blah, blah. this is where you go i'm not going to buy that because that sends the wrong signal you can definitely go that route if you'd like throwing it in a garbage can and doing all that you know dramatic stuff now nah, that's that's not gonna do anything it makes us look bad don't buy it. That's the best way to do it. Now, as far as the two-pack goes, right, I like what they did with Hush. I like that he Batman comes with batarangs. I like the look of this Batman. It's not a complete sort of like, oh, I'm done. Uh, I got. But that sort of misalignment, mismatch should not happen. And they really should have gone back and said, you know what? Let's uh, let's make this right, right? And that that's what I'm gonna say. However, the one caveat could be that with a lot of McFarlane toys, we see the photos and what you actually get, right? Because they never really do them justice. What you get in the packaging when it hits shelves could be entirely different. So it's kind of like a waiting game. I would say maybe wait, maybe hold off on pre-orders until you really see this. Maybe get the single carded hush right now, but if this Batman meets your fancy and you're just one of those people where you're like, you know what? I don't really care. That's okay too. It's just toys. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. People will say all day, hey, you know what? Just slap some paint on it. You'll be fine. Well, not one of those people that paints stuff either. You know what I mean? I have very low customizational uh, ability here. I like swapping heads and hands like, oh, look at a new figure, right? So that's my two cents on the whole situation. So I will say that it's a nice idea. A whole thing, Batman versus Hush. That's really cool. It's a great looking Batman, but those misaligned pins, man, I hope they fix that in time. The gravestone is awesome. That's very cool. It's a really nice display base, especially the gravestone that says, here lies Jason Todd. Fits with the whole Hush thing. So in that sense, very cool. Hush comes with a shovel. <laughs> At least it's not a crowbar, right? I mean, you can hit Batman with a shovel. But again, I'll reiterate, misaligned pins or whatnot, it does look like a cool box set, but that's just, ah, that's one of those like, man oh man, it's, I really wish they didn't do that. So that's really gonna wrap it up for my look at some of the brand new McFarlane Toys' DC Multiverse offerings. And what do you think about these new figures? Grabbing any, Grifter, Red Robin, Hush, maybe the Batman? <laughs> Still, comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, hey, do you know it's McFarland Day at GameStop? All of a sudden, it would have been nice to know about this a little bit. But uh, yeah, they got figures on sale too there if you, uh, you want to grab stuff. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.